Hey guys, I have a terrible cold, but I thought I'd just show you my latest, my latest little implementation of the internet button by uh, Particle, formerly known as Spark. So the idea is screaming baby in the back, hands are full, buttons on the wall. This button here is now bound to sort of call me. You know, I might be in the house somewhere. So my wife can just hit that and call me. And I'm, I'm there. I run across the, the house. So this is how it works. You press the button. Button's actually on the back. It turns blue, which means um, that means uh, the notification has been made. And then I'm using Pushover, which costs like five bucks to set up, but I couldn't find a better solution for iOS. So on my phone, I um, I get a message like that. Actually, it was like that, and then I acknowledge the uh, the notification, and then the light turns off. So that's that's it. Brilliant, hey? Um, there are a little bit of bugs sometimes. Well, sometimes it doesn't turn blue. I found, but anyway, it's it works. So let me show you how it's done. Let me show you how it's done. I first off, what did I do? I created um, a webhook. As you can see, I created a webhook. I think if I show you the, the details of the webhook, it shows you all sorts of secret data, so I can't really show it to you. But the webhook is so that when you press that button, the Spark server hooks into a pushover API and, um, and then notifies me on my phone. So the next bit is the acknowledgement. Um, as you can see here, there's a bit of PHP I'm having on running on a secret location, and it just calls the shell script to turn the LED off, and it works. To debug uh, everything, I use the particle um, subscribe mine, and you get to see all the events. So let's run through them again. So you can see button two was sent, hook sent, hook response. Uh, actually, oh, I could probably show you. The hook response is actually implemented here. As you can see here, my um, that hook response basically turns the LED blue. There's some bugs. There's some bugs, like um, if you press the button lots of times, there's lots of notifications. Um, and then I have to sort of uh, acknowledge them one by one, which is a bit painful. And there's obviously no counter here to, to check them all off. Um, but otherwise, I think it's I think it's an okay solution. I wish I wish pushover was better. I wish that could sort of vibrate when it's on silent a bit more. But maybe it's probably just a iOS limitation. Um, and what else is there to say? Yeah, I'm ill. Um, give me a thumbs up for effort, guys.